Today I'm going to show you some basketball defensive footwork drills to practice. When you think about players who get the game minutes they want, you must consider their defensive activity. I know it's more fun to work on offensive skills, but I'm here to tell you that the number one skill that all GOATs have in common that we don't really appreciate and talk about enough of is their elite defensive footwork. So today I want to teach you some fun and effective defensive footwork drills to practice to get the game minutes you want. I'm Coach Charlie with the Tech Basketball Academy. As a premier basketball player development coach, I have trained thousands of players around the world on the techniques and tactics needed to get elusive footwork. So in this video today, I'm going to give you the key to unlocking elite defensive footwork. Next, I'm going to show you the secret trick behind every pro's unstoppable footwork. Last, I'm going to show you the number one skill you need to master on defense. And on top of that, I have a bonus that I'll give to you but only if you stick around till the very end. Let's get right into the key to unlocking your elite defensive footwork. It all starts with your stance, and I'm gonna get right to it. See, your stance needs to be with your feet shoulders width apart, right? Right, my feet are, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see this. My feet are shoulders width apart, okay? Right? My legs are bent at the knee area. I don't want to ever come up to extend. I want to keep a flex in that knee area, okay? My butt is back. My hips are dropped. That's my lower portion of my stance. Facing you again, front profile, my legs are also loaded. That's why you play low. You play low to load your legs. L-O-A-D. My legs are loaded and powerful. If you were to come push me right now, my upper body may move, but my legs won't. Now I'm able to move in a direction of towards my defender to the sides to keep my defender in front of me and then drop in if I need to, too. But it all starts with your stance. And the stance is what I call the universal stance, right? The universal stance. Okay, my hands are above the basketball. I don't want them below the ball. I want them above the basketball. I want the player in front of me to be a dribbler. If they're dribbling and they're just turning, doing all kind of dribble moves, they have four ticked off teammates. Why? Because they can't pass the ball. And I may get a five second call on them, a violation by standing in this stance. Notice I'm talking the whole time in this stance. This is the key. It starts with the stance. Before I tell you the secret behind every pro's unstoppable footwork, I noticed that you're not a subscriber. We develop premium basketball players and we have a lot of information on this channel. I roll out 20 new high quality videos every month to help you. So you may want to become a subscriber. Click that subscribe button. Now let me show you the secret trick behind every pro's unstoppable footwork. See, it all starts with what we call foot fire feet. As if my feet are on fire. See, the key to foot fire feet, technically speaking, is you're making small choppy steps with your feet stand as close as you can to the ground with your heels up. See, that way you're able to move quickly in all different directions because what you're after is what I call ABC. See, the effectiveness of foot fire feet will allow your body to stay ag agile, right? Meaning you might bend, but you won't break. You won't give up angles. You're staying balanced because now your center of grabbing your weight is in the middle and you're under control. Now you can force your defender in different directions because of foot fire feet. Okay? This is how you want to develop your foot fire feet, those small choppy steps. I want to show you two key drills. First, stationary. Just stand, stand still. Just moving your feet. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then two, put it on the move. I want to get out of camera. But imagine me doing this running, five seconds, four, three, two, one, run it again, five, four, three, two, one. Because you want to learn how to sustain your foot fire feet over time. Because you, you never know how long you need to stay in front of a defender. Now that you know how to use small choppy steps to dominate your offensive player, I want you to come below with foot fire and click the thumbs up to let us know you like this video. Go ahead and drop foot fire in the comments below. Now I'm going to show you the number one skill you need to master on defense. See, 
The number one skill you need to master is called the closeout. Here's simply why. Even when you watch film and you get ready to play a player, you really don't know their tendencies. The film and the breakthroughs that the coaches will give you and the scouting points will give you an idea, but you have no idea until you play against this player. So I want to go over three type of closeouts to really help you understand how to guard offensive players. So now let's talk about the three type of players that we've identified attack basketball that you're going to play against on offense while you're playing defense. First, a shooter. We call that belly up. You want to make that shooter uncomfortable. Now when we close out and do our small choppy steps, we want to get as close as we can to them because their go-to move is shooting. We want them countering, meaning we want them to put the ball on the ground. We live with their counter. We can play defense from here. We can make moves, okay? Second, we want to contain an attacker. This player here can really put the ball on the ground and make plays for themselves. So now, instead of going out because they're a non-shooter, what we're going to do is when we sprint halfway, we stop. So our small choppy steps end our stop. We keep our feet active, and we want our hands out, not up. Shooter hands are up to contest the shot. Non-shooter hands are out to get ready for the dribble. And we want our hands above the basketball. So any moves they make as they try to attack us with their offhand, we're off and away from that. We want to absorb their moves. They're a non-shooter. Their go-to move is putting the ball on the ground make plays. Their counter is to shoot it. We can close out for that. And the last player you're going to play is what we call a slasher in basketball. They're like a hybrid. They can shoot it with momentum and rhythm, confidence standstill, but they more than likely like to put the ball on the ground. Now, for the hybrid player I call them, we call it boxer, the closeout. So I'm going to go first sprint, last half chop, belly out, then I need to back up. What I want to do is just really throw them off. I want them overthinking whether should I shoot it or should I make a dribble move. I want them kind of irking and jerking, right, we call it, right? So I'm going three seconds hard, right, shoot, 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 hey, 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 five, four, right, three, two, one. I kind of went overboard, but I'm kind of up active, right, because this player here, they're kind of indecisive. They can get downhill on you, but they won't catch and shoot it. They want to put the ball on the ground. They feel better by putting the ball on the ground for a drill pull-up jump shot or a floater. Active feet won't get you beaten basketball. That's simple. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We've covered a lot in this video, and I want to make sure I'm really helping you out. So I'd like to offer you a free guide that covers all the must-know basketball principles and in what situation to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below. You can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it and keep attacking.